This is the famous Chamunda Devi Temple of Himachal Pradesh. The temple not only attracts devotees from different parts of the country but also reaches Makak population. Some of the people coming here revere the Makaks from afar. Every day the Makak spend majority of their time finding food, feeding, drinking water, grooming each other. mounting, mating, and resting all in the vicinity of the temple. Temple forms a permanent habitat for the Makkah due to the easy availability of food and water. They identify the visiting tourists as a source of food. One such alarming instance when the macaque was offered chocolate by the devotee. Sugar balls and puffed rice are the most common prashad items that the macaques receive here in the temple. They can also go to the extent of stealing food from the hands of the people. The boat display do not feed macaques often goes unnoticed by the devotees. Oftentimes devotees can't resist feeding them the prashad. The consequences of feeding can be terrifying. The effects can be seen not only in the temple but also in its vicinity. People avoid or fear any conscious confrontations with them. Accessing water from the water tank entering the houses in search of food, stealing food, misplacing people's cloths left out for drying, have created fury and distress among the people in the neighborhood. The tourists feed the macaques but it's actually the neighborhood that suffers its havoc. There are days when the temple is empty. Those are the days when macaques spend their time feeding on the vegetation around the temple or feeding at the nearby dump yard. Dumpyard forms a source of continual food availability. Here they feed on various different types of human food. From rotten vegetables to stale bread, 
This dump yard forms another easy source of food for them. Improper waste management and roadside feeding is further encouraging their population growth, hence increasing the minis. The government of Himachal Pradesh therefore deployed a sterilization program to control the ever-increasing Maka population. Sterilization program involves first capturing the Maka with the help of a local monkey capturer by cage or net method. But here comes the most challenging part. The macaques are well aware and avoid going inside the cage or net altogether. Adult macaques avoid going into the cage or net in a group. Then what can be done to avoid the urban monkey minis on an individual or governmental level? Thank you.